Hi everyone, this is Gemma from Basta Kiss and today I wanted to talk to you about the Fuego Split Souls. Fuego is a startup from the US. They have gained a lot of popularity in recent years for their sleek, innovative and yet minimalistic designs. As many of you may know, I'm actually quite a big fan of Fuego. I've been dancing their shoes for quite a long time. I mostly use their the, the low top sneakers. And although I really like the sneakers, I did have a few reservations, which I talked about in my last review video, which I will link here somewhere and also below, so you can check that out. And recently, I bought myself a pair of split soles. So we're going to talk about these today. In addition, we have a discount code for Fuego, so if you're interested in buying a pair of Fuegos, be sure to use our discount code for 10% off your purchase. Let's get straight into it. So, I've been dancing in Fuego for quite some time, and although I love the low top sneakers, and as you know from my other review, I, I wear them a lot, they do have some issues, and I did have a few reservations about them. So I was very excited when Fuego announced the launch of their new split soles, because I felt like perhaps these would answer many of the questions and concerns I had about the Fuego sneakers. So first off, let's take a look at the design. As you can see, these are crazy flexible. I mean, look at that. Crazy flexible. And yet, still very supportive in the toe box and also in the heel. I mean, but just look at that flexibility. Like, you can point your toes, you can be up here. I mean, insane. But at the same time, this part and this part is actually pretty strong and supportive. I don't know if you can see. Quite supportive still. So they are designed for dancing on all surfaces and Fuego actually claims that you can wear these on the street. However, I feel less inclined to wear these on the street as compared to low tops. And I can't quite tell you why that is. Maybe because of the design, I just, I feel like these shoes are made for dancing. They are not made for walking. And when I wear them on the street, I somehow feel like it's an insult to the shoe. <laughs> That's the only way I can really describe it. Because otherwise, I mean, of course you could wear them on the street. I just, I just don't feel like I want to somehow, perhaps just to preserve them. They just, they just don't feel like street shoes, although you could wear them as such. So I've worn these shoes on most surfaces now and they hold up pretty well, very well actually. I have worn them on the street for dancing, I have worn them at bars, I have worn them in studios, and in all cases they held up very, very well. Perhaps the one downside of the fact that you can dance on these on all surfaces is that the sole is slightly thicker than what, at least than what I would prefer. But that being said, I don't think you could really go much thinner for a shoe that can be danced on concrete and all these surfaces in. In addition, you can actually remove the insole, as you can see which does make the, the sole way thinner and also even a little bit more flexible. Personally, I find myself keeping the insole just because it's very comfortable. Other drawbacks, well, I mean, to be honest, the shoe doesn't really have many drawbacks. It is a really great shoe, but one, no, I would say one drawback for sure is the price. I mean, this shoe is 130 US dollars and that doesn't include shipping and doesn't include root protection. And that really adds up when you live abroad. Like, for example, for me, I live in Hong Kong, so it really adds up. It makes a total like maybe around 150 US dollars. And that's especially true when you compare that price to jazz shoes or to the Capizio sneakers, which I believe are much cheaper. But that being said, this is not this is not a jazz shoe. This is something quite different. And it also seems quite different to the Capizio sneakers. Though full disclaimer, I've never danced in the Capizio sneakers, so perhaps I mean if you have, let me know below and we can discuss it. I think the thing that really makes me stand out is that the center section, maybe if I get close you can see, the center part is made of a different material to this part. So this part is made of a kind of elastic, which makes the shoe super, super flexible. And if you can see here, it's very, very flexible, this part. And I think that's really what makes the shoe what it is. And then you have this part, which is a slightly thicker, like canvas, which makes it more supportive. Anyway, there they are up close. I would say that's what really makes these shoes stand out to the competitors is the fact that you have this different material and the flexibility, but along with the really good support that you get in the heel and in the toe box. Perhaps one of the drawback is that the fitting can be a little tricky if you have wider or slimmer feet than normal. 
Um, and especially as your shoes are mostly bought online, or at least I bought them online, and you can't fit them first. Uh, that is something that's tricky. Obviously Fuego does do returns, so I guess you could always return them if you do have problems with the fitting. I bought these in a 7.5 women's, uh, which is the same size as I bought the low top sneakers in. And they fit quite well. They do fit almost perfectly, quite snug. I think if I were to order them again, I would go half a size smaller. I think I'd go for the sevens. I just have a concern that they might start to get a bit looser than what I want. And so this is also a personal preference. So I like my shoes to be very tight. And I mean, obviously not so tight that it blocks the circulation in the foot or anything like that. I just like them to be snug on the foot for, you know, especially when I'm doing like tricky turn patterns or lots of spins. I want something that is skin tight. So I think I would go maybe a little, a little smaller. Sizing is a really difficult thing to advise on because it's really up to your personal taste. Fuego said that they have updated their sizes recently. So I think before they were recommending that you go half a size smaller and now it seems like the sizing is accurate. It's true to street size. I'm not, check the, check the measurements before you order for sure. What do I wear these shoes for and who are they for? I wear these shoes for everything, like everything, because <laughs> they are so versatile, so comfortable. Uh, they're very understated, which I like. So I've used them for, yeah, social dancing. I've used them for practices. I've used them for teaching. I've used them for all kinds of stuff. The only thing I perhaps wouldn't use these for are performances, and that's only because of the look, just because they aren't particularly jazzy, they are quite understated, so that's probably the only reason I wouldn't use them for a performance. So who are they for? I would say this is for the, the more serious amateur, someone who does a lot of social dancing, who wants to do more difficult movements, or for a teacher or perhaps even a professional who's dancing all day. And it's for the person who wants that, like the technical support, but at the same time wants comfort. And at the same time, someone who wants something a bit more understated. So when I bought these shoes, I was looking for a shoe that I could both follow and lead in. Because I am a follower primarily, but I'm starting to learn how to lead bachata and um, kazomba. And I find that when I'm leading bachata, there's some moves that I don't like to lead when I'm in heels because I just find the balance a little funny. You know the movements where you're doing a lot of like body isolation, like you're leading a lot of body isolations or like deep dips. I like to have a lot more flexibility almost in terms of where I can put my weight. So when I'm doing a deep dip I like to be able to come right back to make sure that I have that counterbalance so I don't allow my follower to fall. <laughs> I mean I should also add that I'm quite a novice lead so prefer not to lead in heels. This shoe answers my queries because as a follower I can be right up on my toes and I can be doing all the movements that I want to do and as a leader I can come back down when I need to and be flat and totally supported. In addition they really answered the questions and the concerns I had about the Fuego low tops. So as you guys know in my other video which I will link somewhere and you can watch it Although I really love the low top sneakers, I did feel that there were a few issues with them and I felt that they were more for like a more casual social dancer. These have answered all those questions. I think that these shoes are really for everyone. Now are they more for followers or leaders? Well, the design is so understated, I feel like they could be used for either follower or leader. I do feel like they're somehow a little more feminine, but a leader could definitely wear them. And I'm sure I would recommend them for a leader. I think that you could also use these for, I mean, maybe even training shoes for ballet. I have seen that online. I mean, they really have that versatility. Like you could wear these for pretty much any kind of dance, I reckon. Just because you have that flexibility and that support. On top of that, the customer service with Fuego was really great. Some of the, some of the best customer service I've ever encountered online for buying dance shoes. So I just want to shout out to them for that. What else is there to say about these shoes? Uh, basically, I really recommend them. And if you're looking, if this is, if that's what you're looking for, or if you're looking for a dance sneaker that is versatile, that can dance on all surfaces in, that you can be on your toes in, uh, then this is a good answer to that. As I said, the one drawback is the price. So if you're tight on budget, then maybe it's not quite the right shoe for you. Uh, but if budget isn't really an issue, then yeah, I mean, like, why not? These shoes are really great. And so if you have a pair of these, if you like them, if you hate them, let us know below. Like, I mean, if I've missed anything, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. And once again, we have a discount code for these shoes. 
it is fast like it was 10 and you can use that to get 10% off your purchase. I just wanted to add that this video is a totally honest review of my experience with these sneakers. I do find that with Fuego that there is a real split. It seems like it's almost 80% of people really love Fuego. And I admit, hands up, I fall into that 80%. I really like Fuego. And then you have a 20% who really don't like them. And at least from the people I've spoken to that really don't like the Fuegos, I think it's usually because their Fuegos don't fit them. It's either that, either they don't fit, or it's because of the sole, the thickness of the, of the sole. Yeah, I have to say, these shoes aren't really designed for people with wider or similar feet. They're designed for people with quite like an average foot size. So that is definitely something to consider if you have difficulty fitting shoes, that perhaps Fuego isn't right for you in that case. Because uh, of course, if you have very narrow feet and you're in the shoe and you're, it's loose, that's obviously, you don't, want, you don't want that. You don't want your foot to be rolling around, especially when you're doing any kind of spin or pivot. And I guess similar for if you have quite wide feet, this shoe might also be quite uncomfortable. So yeah, those are just things to consider. I mean, there's probably the chance to get them altered, but when, I don't know, better to talk to talk to Fuego, talk to their customer service about that, because that is, that is out of my knowledge. <laughs> I have pretty average feet. I do have very high arches, uh, so I do have problems fitting shoes sometimes, but I've never had a problem with my arches and the Fuegos. I mean, ideally, if you live in the US or you live somewhere close to where they sell Fuegos in person, I would really recommend that you try them on, as with any shoe, I think it's better to try on. The issue is, at least for me, living in Hong Kong, we don't have that many dance shoe companies or shops that we can go to with very high quality dance shoes. If you're in Hong Kong and you know of a dance shoe shop, please link below because I've been looking for a long time and I haven't found anything that quite meets the requirements that I want. So anyway, that means that I buy, well, 100% of my shoes online, so I can never try the shoes first, which isn't ideal, but anyway, made the best of what we got, right? Thank you.